I'd like to introduce you now to John Helmberger with the Minnesota Family Council. Hi, John. Hi, Stu. Tell me a little bit about your organization. Where are you based? How many people work with you? That kind of thing. Well, Minnesota Family Council is based in Minneapolis. We've got a staff of uh, seven people, uh, plus a, uh, a nearly full-time volunteer who is a really uh, a key person on our team, and an army of about 100,000 people around the state who are like-minded and, and uh, work with us on a volunteer basis to uh, help us advance the biblical principles in the public arena that we're concerned about. And the organization's been there for 25 years now. That's right. We are excited to be celebrating our 25th anniversary this year. 25 years of advancing biblical principles in the public arena. Tell me about the top issues that you hit year after year. What are the ones that keep coming back? Well, there are probably four issues that we've seen cropping up in our legislature in the last couple of years. Uh, the last few years actually uh, year after year and so far the Lord's uh, enabled us to to uh, stave off the attack on the family in the on these issues but the, uh, the fact that we're seeing these issues again and again has told us something and they include uh, legalization of uh, domestic same-sex domestic partner benefits for public employees um, uh, passing a mandatory comprehensive sex education law that is actually advancing the most outrageous um, explicit uh, curriculum that you can possibly imagine for kids from grade seven on up and uh, legalizing medical marijuana which is uh, a misnomer for sure it's basically a front for legalizing marijuana generally and then finally uh, and we, we've seen this uh, kind of off the off, uh, off stage for a while and come back this year uh, legalizing um, surrogate motherhood agreements or gestational carrier agreements they're sometimes called where a woman could be paid for being inseminated or impregnated and carrying a child to to term and then turning the child over to the so-called intended parents mm -hmm. so um, the thing is we we see these issues continuing to come back year after year and what it's become increasingly clear to us that what we're doing is combating the rotten fruit of a false worldview that is prevailing in our legislature and in our culture right now and that ultimately if we want to be successful long term we need to address the underlying root issue which is that false worldview and restore a biblical worldview that uh, will uh, reestablish the, the strength of our, our culture and, and a basis for laws that will really uh, uphold the family and, uh, and protect the family and restore the strength of the family as the foundation of our society. Yeah, I know Minnesota has a reputation as leaning to the liberal side on many of these issues. What keeps you motivated? What keeps you in the fight? Well, more than anything else, it is our desire to see people begin to realize the power of the truth to set free their own minds uh, to set them free from the, the captivity of their minds that the the uh, false worldview in our culture today has uh, uh, has taken that captivity uh, to set them free and transform their lives and empower them to make a difference in our culture to exalt the Lord Jesus Christ very good thank you John yeah th well, thank you Stu